Welcome back to my tutorial series on how to make a game using Flutter in Flame. In this episode, we're finally going to be able to hear our game because we're adding in sound effects. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. To get started, we're going to head over to a free website, sfxr.me. I will put a link to it in the description, and this website is super awesome. It allows us to create sounds for our game completely free in our browser. As you can see here, there's a lot of different sounds that we can make. There's also a lot of different um, toggles, not toggles, but a lot of different sliders that we can use. There's also a lot of different sliders that we can use to customize the sound exactly how you want. For this video, we're going to create four sounds. We're going to create a sound for collecting fruit, getting hit, jumping, and when we beat the level, when we disappear. Now, the easiest way to do this, you can definitely use the sliders if you want, but what I found is you just keep clicking these buttons, and every time you do, it's going to give you a different sound. You can keep clicking it until you found the sound that you want, and this is how I got the four sounds for the video that I'll be using. For picking up the fruit, I did a pickup sound. For uh, disappearing at the end, I did a power-up sound, and then for getting hit, I did hit hurt and then for jump, I did the jump sound. So essentially just keep clicking the buttons and getting the sound you want. Once you've gotten it, click the little button right here to download it and then you're good to go. So check out the sounds that you want. I will also put a link to the description of my GitHub. Those will, inside there will be the sounds that I will be using if you want to use the exact same ones, but feel free to grab these, change them how you want and then download them. Once you've done that, you can go back to the code. Now that we're in our code, what we want to do is we want to go to our assets folder, right click and do a new folder. And inside this new folder, we can do audio. Inside of our folder, we can actually right click it and go reveal in file explorer. This will open up our assets folder and then we can double click our audio folder and we can select all of the sounds that we've downloaded and paste them in. And there we go. I've gone ahead and renamed my coin pickup to collect fruit, my power up to disappear, my hit to hit, and my jump to jump. You can name them whatever you want. Just make sure if you name them the same way that they're spelled correctly so they follow along well in the code. <laughs> Great. Now that we have all of our sounds, we can close out of our explorer. Let's, before we forget, go into our pub spec YAML. We can go down to our assets and then uh, duplicate the the, uh, the tiles and then call this audio and hit save. Make sure you do this. I always forget to do this. And if you forget, then you won't be able to use your sounds and not sure why it's not working. So we can go ahead and then close out of this. Now, first things first, what we want to do is we can go into our lib folder, go into pixel adventure, and we want to add in two variables here that we'll be using so that we can play our sounds. The first variable that we're going to use, which I'll show you why, is bool and then play sounds. And by default, we're going to set this to false. Perfect. And I'll show you why in a moment. <laughs> the next one we want is a double and we can rename this to uh, sound volume and by default it's going to be 1.0. Uh, there we go. Can't type today. And then we can go ahead and save that. Now I do want to also in this video fix some bugs that we've encountered because I made a mistake and didn't fix all of them. So the first one I want to do is on our load next level on in our pixel adventure. I want to come down to where we have no more levels and I actually want to set our current level index back to zero and then I want to call load next level. What this will do is when you get to the end of your levels, it's just going to go back to the first level so that way you don't have to restart the game. You can keep messing around with stuff if you need to, especially if you're playing this on a mobile, you would actually have to close the game altogether and reopen it to continue to play. So let's just make it easier on ourselves and reset it back to zero when we're done. Great. Now that we've gone ahead and saved that, we can go into our components folder and now we want to go into our player.dart file where we're going to add in our sounds. The first sound section that we're going to add is we just need to figure out where we want to add them and we're going to add our jump to our player jump. So to do this, we now can use our um, play sounds boolean that we made in our game by doing if 
game.playsounds, then we want to play this sound. At the moment, we can't play sounds because we need to install a new package that comes with Flame so we can actually play sounds very easy. To do this, we can hit Control tilde on our keyboard and then do flutter pub add flame underscore audio. This will install the dependencies for Flame Audio, which will make it very easy for us to play audio in Flame. Now that we've done that, we can do Flame Audio, hit enter to import it, and then all we have to do is just call dot play. And then we can pass in the file that we want to use for our jump. Again, it already looks in the audio folder, so we can just call jump.wav, which is the file name and type of our audio. We can then add a comma and then pass in our volume, which will be game dot sound volume. This way we have the ability to change all of the volumes at the same when in a future video we have a menu. This will come very easy for us so that we can just dial those volumes down of everything if we need to. Keep in mind, if you don't want an actual volume to be as high as the rest, then you can just multiply it by a certain amount of number, let's say 0.5, and then this will take the normal volume that we have for everything and then multiply it by half. That way, no matter what our default volume is, this will always be half of it or 25% or whatever you want the volume is. So just keep that in mind. Right now, we'll just keep everything as loud as possible, but that's how you would tweak it. If one sound is much higher than you want it to be, just multiply it by a certain amount of number to make it lower. Great. Now that we have jumping in, what we want to do is go to when we get hit, and that happens in our respawn. So in our respawn, we pretty much just can do the exact same thing. If game.playsounds is true, then we're going to do flameaudio.play. We're going to pass in our hit dot wave, which is our hit sound, and then give it the volume game dot sound volume. Perfect. Playing sounds in Flame is super easy, and uh, you don't even have to necessarily give it a volume, so really you just need to give it a sound, but we do want to give it a volume, but yeah, very easy to play sounds. And then the next sound, when we beat the level, we want to play our respawn sound of when we're disappearing, essentially, so we can play a sound when we disappear so that you know that we've beat the level. So to do that, it's just as easy as before. Right before we do the reach checkpoint, we can do if game.playsounds, and then you probably already know flameaudio.play, and then we can pass in our disappear.wav, and then pass in the volume game.soundvolume. So very simple here. When we save this, we are going to get a little blue squiggle, and it's because we're now, it's too long of a, of a sentence, essentially. Uh, so what we can do is click the uh, light bulb and do add curly braces, uh, just so you don't get those squiggles. I like everything on one line if I can, uh, but sometimes if it goes to a second line, it's going to complain that you should have curly braces. So just keep that in mind. Now, I do want to take a moment here and fix a bug because I, in our previous video when we were doing bug fixes, uh, there's a few bugs that I missed and I apologize. So right here, I ended up using this delay. I didn't get rid of it, um, which messes up when we disappear, it kind of repeats itself. Um, so what we can do is right under our current equals player state disappearing, um, we can pass in, um, we can actually do what we did before. So switch the uh, function to, or method to async, and then right here we can call await animation ticker, it needs a question mark because it could be null, and then dot completed, dot completed. This is going to wait for it to complete, and then once it's completed, uh, make sure you do animation ticker, question mark, dot reset, so we reset it. But now this allows us to get rid of this delay right here, so we can grab this out, control X, and then paste over this. So essentially now we're doing what we did in the other videos, we're waiting for the disappear to complete, then reset it and then continue on. And then we can also clean this up a little bit too. We can get rid of this and these brackets and then just make it an arrow function so it's on one line, just makes it a little cleaner. Uh, we still need this duration because it's not based on an animation, it's just based on time, at least until we get our in-screen menus done, uh, this is how we're going to do it. So we can save that. 
Uh, and then yeah, so we've gone ahead and added in our disappear sound, our hit sound, and our jump sound. Now we can just go to our collect fruit, and we can do that by going into our fruit.dart, and we can fix this as well. Now there is an error with our fruit.dart, um, so I wanna fix that first. Um, we can actually go back up here. We do in fact need the bull collected, and by default, it'll be false. And I apologize for this. I didn't realize that um, we actually needed that. <laughs> so when we come down to collided with player, uh, we can actually first check if we're not uh, collected. Um, and then we can run this code here. And the reason why we want to do this is it works really good, but your player has the... Copy that one more. Uh, it works very well, but your player has the ability to run out of the collision and then back into the collision before it's disappeared because we're delaying it. So uh, we don't want that, especially when we're playing sounds. Uh, depending on where your player is running, it might play multiple sounds. And there's a way where you could just run out of the collision, back in, back out, back in, back out. Back, and it would just play those sounds over and over and over again, as well as the animation. So we do need the if not collected, uh, put the code in, and then set collected equal equal to true. That way it only runs once. Um, that's how we want to do that. And now that we fix that, we can do the same as before. If dot gameplay sounds, then we can do flame audio dot play. This one is going to be collect fruit. I think it's dot, uh, I think it's collected fruit. Oh no, it is collect fruit. Perfect. And then dot WAV. And then uh, volume is going to be game dot sound volume. Perfect. Now, and then when we save it, we're going to get the ish, the little squirrelies. Uh, so we can add the curlies. Cool. Squirrelies add the curlies. Right. Uh, anyhow, sorry. I thought that was funny. So, so now we have our sound. So if we refresh and play, uh, we don't have any sound and that's because I've gone ahead and turned it off. And the reason why I've turned it off is because there is a problem with flame audio and maybe VS Code and it, it's a Windows issue and I'll show you in a moment. So if we change play sounds to true and now refresh, we should be able to play our game and it's going to break. And the reason why it's going to break is because you can only play sounds once in Flutter um, before you have to close down and rebuild the game. And I don't know why, I have no idea at all why, um, it is, uh, it's not like resetting. It's not, it's trying, well, the error is it's trying to reuse the sound. Um, and it can't because it's open. And apparently I'd reached out to the discord for flame, uh, which they're very helpful and very, you know, that's one thing I love about flame. The, the community is very helpful. Um, especially viewers like you as well, but also the community the people that are actually in charge of it, very helpful. Um, but it's a windows issue that if you play sounds uh, that have already been played, after you've saved your file, you can't play them again. So uh, very confusing, doesn't make any sense. But now when we jump, we actually get this. So um, the reason why I added the code in uh, to sh you know play sounds is that way when you're editing, uh, you just won't have sounds, but you also won't be breaking your, uh, breaking your game. So that's kind of the problem. Um, Unfo it's unfortunate because you know I want to be able to save and play sounds and all that without having to reload every time but um, just keep that in mind if you're on Windows you're going to have to uh, turn the sounds off when you're coding um, there is no easy way to fix it but um, so I just wanted to share that with you it took me forever to figure it out and I'm like I don't know what's going on so um, but that's the fix so just add the if it is and then when you're coding turn it off and then when you're ready to play again any one sound, just close the, the game and relaunch it. But yeah, now we have our sounds. There's our hit sound. There's our collect sound. Collect, collect, collect. There's our jump sound. There's our hit sound. And then, of course, we have our beautiful disappearing sound at the end. And, of course, we've gotten to the end of our levels. And it repeats back to the beginning. This is awesome. Our game is finally be able to look good, sound good. And everything's been free, which is really awesome that's what i love about uh you know the community of everything there's so much free stuff out there that you can use i don't know how to make sound effects you know what i mean so being able to use a free website to make them and they sound fantastic like i said i will put the link to my github in the description like i always do the sounds are there if you want these exact ones i was afraid to change them because i've been messing with this for a few days and i'm definitely used to these sounds and like them i don't want them any different 
Um, that was a little bug, but it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's just because we uh, have the collision there. But yeah, anyhow, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the support on this channel. Um, we haven't hit it yet, but we're about to hit 4,000 watch hours, which means there'll probably be some ads on this video um, in a few days, if not already by the time you watch this. And I just want to thank you for that support. Uh, again, you can become a member if you want to by clicking the join button. That helps out a lot, but I just want to say thank you so much for all the support and I got a lot more videos to do. I'm going to start working on a new series altogether for a different game. Uh, I did a question for that as well. And you guys really want the adventure game, which is exciting because I really want the adventure game too. So it worked out. Again, for those of you that wanted the uh, side-scrolling platform, it's pretty much this. Just you know, just need to do the camera, so um, and then just make your levels bigger. But we'll actually go over that in our adventure uh, because it's pretty much handled the same way with the camera just following the player. But yeah, I'll stop rambling now. Thank you so much for checking out. In our next video, I'm gonna be trying to add in our first actual enemy, with, which is awesome. It's gonna be complicated. I don't know how to do everything yet, but I'll do my best to figure it out. I got a week and uh, yeah, I'm excited for that video. So we'll finally have it. I think I'll do the chicken just because it looks so funny, but uh, I'll stop rambling now. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Check out the video on the screen check out the playlist and uh, I'll see you in the next video.